Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this bitmap, and we'll just kind of prove it's a bitmap here by putting a yellow box and going to object order back of page, and you, wow, there's no background on it, but it is there, and you can see by moving it around, it's got a box around it. I traced it. It traced pretty good, but it's still got... It would need a lot of cleaning up, and you can draw this, and I drew this in just a few minutes. It's not exactly like it, but it's really close. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, just a couple of things you want to think about. You want to work in the center of the page, so we're going to draw a line. This thing's a little over four inches, so we need to make a four-inch line, and we're just going to draw a line, holding down the control button so it's perfect, and it's it's a little bit longer than four, but that's okay for this. We're going to take the shape tool. We're going to select them both, and we're going to add three nodes in the middle. Then we're going to take our do a nudge distance and set it on like 0.2. We're going to zoom in here, and there are several ways you could do this, but you could do this. So in the first one, we're going to nudge down. Whoop! Need to convert them to a curve, so I'm going to select them all convert them to a curve, and then we can grab this one and nudge it down, nudge this one up, nudge this one down, and you can play with that and do more or less, or you know maybe you could even leave that one and just curve the bottom one, so I'm gonna do a little bit different. Now, we need to make this line a little bit thicker, so we're gonna, that's pretty close, but I'm gonna make it point two, and remember, you don't have to take the numbers that Krill gives you, you can type in any number. We're gonna go ahead and make it black for the video, but you think about it, it's a black line, not a black fill. But we're gonna go ahead and make it, go up to object and convert it to an object. And we're gonna left click, right click, and now we have an outline. <clears throat> and now this is where you can, I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard, and I'm just gonna move it down about that far and then control D a couple of times. Then we need to group this together, control G and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Draw an ellipse somewhere about right in there, but we want, if you look right down here, there, I did a little bit more. Um, there's actually a none showing on that one. <clears throat> and that's going to be our, our part. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and control D and make a duplicate and then move this out a little bit, holding down the shift key so it's perfect. And then we're gonna control D again and then move it quite a bit more. Now we're gonna set our nudge factor on like five inches and we're gonna, let me move these out of the way. I'm gonna nudge this outer ring out of the way and the other outer ring out of the way and I'm gonna select these two and I'm gonna to go to intersect and what that did is that gave us that gap. And then all you have to do is hit the left arrow key, right arrow key for no outline. Probably be the best just to take the smart fill tool and fill that in with black. And it is so quick. And then take them both and right click no outline so you don't have a red line. That's so quick. Even if you messed up, you could do it again and, and get it exactly the way you want it. Uh, these two are the ones I've drawn and they're pretty close. I've got the outer circle a little bit bigger. Um, they must represent some water feature or something. Pretty cool way to do it. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.